everyone, my name is Mel Rose. Welcome. If you followed me last week, you, you saw that I'd finished my kitchen, but that's not the full picture. The kitchen is done, but take a look. The rest of the space is still a building site. So I'm confined <laughs> to this spot. So I have a chair here and I'm basically living in the kitchen. You can see from living area that it's still a building site and it will continue to be a building site until the garage is done and then I can move all the stuff out all the bits of wood the workbench all that out into the garage so there's not much I can do until then I can however start working on the shower room but here's my dilemma the apartment that I used to live in, which it will now be the Airbnb, has such a lovely shower room. Absolutely love it. That is my favorite room in the whole apartment. Now my thing is, I have to move and leave that lovely shower room into this part. I want to make it better, then I don't feel deprived. <laughs> but take a look at the space. It's not a lot smaller, it doesn't have that bench and the sink is in a slightly different position. So it's, it does seem smaller, but I don't think it is. My challenge is to make this space nicer. Because I'm yet to rent out the Airbnb, I don't have any money to spend. I do, however, have lots of leftover wood, lots and lots of paint. So I am gonna see what I can do to make this space how I want it. Let's get started. First things first, I'll do what I did to all of the walls. I have to sand it down, get rid of all the loose bits of cement. It's a tedious, dusty job, but it has to be done. The only thing is I can't reach very high up, so I'll just do the bits that I can reach. Then prime it and paint it, probably give it three coats have the same old problem, those really high ceilings. And you know what I do. I don't go all the way up. Eventually, I'll get somebody in to paint the tops for me, but I'll give it my best shot. The shower room's painted now. I need to make a storage cupboard or cabinet, and I'll put some shelves in, hang some curtains, to make in here feel a little bit more homely.
And here is the finished cabinet with plenty of room for storage. The plans for this cabinet was modified from Woodshop Diaries on YouTube. Let's get this shower room finished. I'll quickly put up two shelves. Install the wooden shower rail. Put up the mirror. Oh, and there's some leftover tiles from the shower. There's just enough to put a little bit around the basin. Here's a quick reminder of what it looked like a short while ago. And here's what it looks like now. You won't believe how little I actually spent on this shower room. Most of what you see here was leftovers and I just repurposed it. The only money I spent really was for the decor pieces and the wooden strip along the top of the cabinet. Everything else I had here, so it cost very little. I am very pleased with it. Is it better than the other shower room? I'll let you be the judge of that. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for following along on my journey. Until next time. Bye.